Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Real ACC RX5808 Diversity Module. This is a video receiver module for your Fat Shark goggles, and it'll fit in any model of the Fat Shark goggles which support a modular receiver. The big advantage of this new receiver is that it supports diversity. That means that rather than just a single antenna for video reception, we can connect two. The video receiver will then intelligently and automatically switch between whichever antenna has the strongest signal. This specific receiver costs around $50, which is about £40, and links to the product are in the video description. So let's give it a test. Please be sure to subscribe and enjoy the review. So here we go. This has arrived from Banggood. Uh, padding, etc. Uh, nicely wrapped. There were some more goods in here as well. But the one we're interested in is this here. This is the Real AC RX5808 Pro Diversity Open Source 5.8 40 channel integrated receiver with OLED special display. Now, this is designed specifically for Fat Shark goggles, and it's essentially a receiver unit which will snap straight into your Fat Shark goggles and give you a lot more flexibility and intelligence. In the box, we <laughs> there's not a lot in it actually, we've got the receiver module itself which looks like that. Quite a compact little bunch of electronics. Two circuit boards, two PCBs soldered together. A lot of clever wizardry inside. A little LED screen here, or OLED as they say. Uh, we've got the two diversity antenna points here. And note the connection types, the, the type of SMA connector here when you're ordering antennas for yours. There's a small rocker switch on the side here. And of course, there are the pins which actually connect into your Fat Shark goggles. Be very careful of those. If you snap one, you're going to be in trouble. Also in the box is a little buzzer extension. Now, this is to give you various notifications, I believe, when it's switching channel. It connects into the receiver unit like that. Not quite sure where you're going to put that in your goggles, whether it's just going to dangle loose, but. Um, ultimately, I don't think many people will use this extension. There is also LED indication on here, as you'll see later in this review, to show you when the diversity module has switched the antenna that it's actively using. All in all, it's um, got quite a bit of weight to it. It's a compact little module. It feels fairly well built. The screen isn't exactly aligned. It feels like I want to twist it around a bit to get it perfectly level and parallel with the edges of the circuitry, but that's just my OCD kicking in. Uh, overall, considering the cost of this, I think this was about $40, so £30. Um, we'll see whether it's worth that, but initial impressions are I'm quite excited to plug this in. Installation of this new module is very simple. You simply remove the old door and module from your Fat Shark goggles like that, and then carefully align the pins and slot it into your set, just like that. Okay, now some people run these without the door. The standard door won't actually fit over the new module because this one protrudes a little bit more. So I've also ordered from Banggood with the order this specially designed or specially 3D printed cover and that allows you to see the screen, access the rocker switch on the side as well as it has two ports for the antennas here. I've just put the 3D printed hatch in place now so you can see that the rocker switch is accessible, the screen is visible, and the ports fit through there nicely for the antennas. Um, however, this 3D printed accessory, although it was cheap, it was a couple of dollars in addition to the order, it's not particularly a tight fit. That definitely needs some work and some improvement. I would be tempted to put something over here just to avoid this potentially coming loose during flight. If you were to move your head, uh, during flying with the added weight of the antennas on the module, there is a possibility that this whole thing might fall out and that wouldn't be good. Right, so with the module fitted, let's power the goggles up. 
you can see that with the cover fitted, the LEDs immediately are visible through that 3D printed plastic, which is nice because you can see which antenna is being used. As the diversity switches from one antenna to the other, you'll see that blue LED change to green. So you get a visual indication of which antenna is actively in use, which is a really nice idea. The display is really good as well. This is an OLED display and I'm very impressed. I expected blocky graphics here. I didn't expect a really articulate, detailed looking interface. So when we first fire this up, we're in manual mode at the moment. Um, after a few seconds, it switches to this kind of um, overview mode. It shows the band that we're on, band B, and it shows channel eight. It also shows the actual frequency and a call sign text, which you can customize the call sign in the software. And it shows the signal strength from the antennas. You can see A and B here. They're both at the bottom. I've got no antennas connected here at the moment, and there is no transmitting source either. So we're getting a low signal warning. At the bottom here is the rocker switch, which you can rock up and down and press. So if we press that up, that takes us to manual mode again. If we now press it again, we can access the menu. And this first option is great. This is auto search. Let's say you've got a new aircraft and you don't know what band or channel it's using. You could use auto search to quickly locate it and connect to it. In addition, if you're watching other people fly, you can use auto search to page through. So when we're in auto mode, if I just tap down, it will search all the bands again until it finds signal. Press down again it will also find the next. So if you've got a lot of people flying with you, you can use this to quickly connect to your, your buddies on the field and watch them flying. So auto mode is a really nice feature. We've then got band scanner. So this is also very useful. If you're flying in an area where you suspect there could be interference, you can use the band scanner to look at which are cleanest, which are most available. We've got like a a live display here that keeps updating to show us any interference or signal on that channel. Again, we've got nothing transmitting at the moment and so we're not seeing anything as a result. Manual mode we've already seen, that lets you manually select the band, um, so A, B, E, race band, etc., and then also manually select the channel. Diversity, now, when you get the Fatshark SEs, for example, or if you buy a standard single antenna module for your Fatshark goggles, you'll only have one antenna port. Diversity gives you two antenna ports, so you've got the advantage here of being able to connect two different types of antenna. You quite often see a flat panel antenna and a mushroom antenna, and Diversity will automatically switch to whichever antenna has the strongest connection to your aircraft's video transmitter. Here, however, we can manually select an antenna. I don't quite know why you'd ever need to do this unless you potentially had a faulty antenna or you were using the, the headset perhaps with just one antenna and you didn't want it to automatically perhaps switch to one that didn't have anything connected. But I think most people flying with two antennas connected are going to leave this set to auto mode. It's quite nice as well that it gives you a live signal reading between the two antennas here at the bottom. And finally, there is a menu which allows you to change various elements here. The beeps if you've got the buzzer connected. The call sign is the text that you see. I guess that's so that people who are walking past you, glancing at your overview display, are able to see what your name is without having to interrupt or disturb you. Um, and we've also got the, uh, whoops, go back to the menu. This button is a little bit fiddly. I have a feeling it's catching on this 3D printed cover. I'm not very impressed with this cover, to be honest, but then it was only $3. Uh, and then there's a Calibrate RSSI. I'm not sure what that is. We'd have to refer to the manual for that. And of course, a save and exit. So overall, I'm really impressed with the display. That's really, really nice. The um, LED indication is nice and bright as well. Whether you'd see that in the daylight is yet to be seen. Um, the 3D printed cover, remember this, this doesn't come with the module. It's an extra three or four dollars. Not great quality, but it does the job. You might want to think about securing it in addition to make sure this whole unit doesn't fall out mid-flight. Um, the rocker switch and the press button on there is really nice. Um, 
actually it only catches if you push it too much um, otherwise it's absolutely fine but overall this module is very very impressive what we're going to do next is take it to the field and see how it behaves when switching between the different antennas Back at the field, it's a lovely day. I've got my ridiculous looking headset with the diversity receiver and the two antennas installed. You remember this helical antenna that we reviewed in the last review. So what I'm now gonna do is power up the receiver, demonstrate the signal strength in indicators that this receiver has, and then we're gonna test it. So it'll be interesting as well to have the DVR recording. That will show us any difference in the quality of the signal received between this receiver and the standard Raceband F uh, Fat Shark receiver that came with the Dominator SEs. So with the goggles powered up, you can now see the band, the live band frequency reading, which is very clever. Um, there's only one kind of key element here, which is probably our quad, which is sat over there powered up and transmitting live video now. So that's a really, really useful indication as to whether anyone else might be flying in your area. If I go onto auto search, it should automatically lock onto ours automatically. Auto mode lock. There you go, so F band and it's channel one. So even before we put the goggles on, you can probably see the LEDs here changing between green and blue. That's to indicate that the diversity receiver is switching antenna. So already one antenna is stronger than the other. If I cover that one, there you go. You see it's now switched to the mushroom antenna. If I release that one, it's now switched back. So, and we've also got a live readout on the screen, which you probably can't see, which shows the strength of each of them. Okay, weather's actually got a little bit darker, sadly, um, but it's not so bad. Okay, and here we go. On screen, you can see the footage from the real ACC diversity receiver on the right and the standard single antenna fat shark receiver on the left. The first thing that I noticed is that the real ACC receiver provides a much smoother looking image with better colour and contrast, although the weather was slightly changeable on the day. The secondary antenna, which is directional, that I'm testing with the ACC receiver is not of great quality, and therefore I'm not making the most of the diversity features of this new receiver. But without question, the flight experience is far better with the real ACC receiver. In terms of signal strength and quality, the diversity receiver gives a far more stable picture with much less signal breakup during flight, noticeable specifically when I'm flying the quadcopter back towards me, where the ACC receiver module doesn't break up at all compared to the single antenna fat shark receiver, which breaks up quite a bit. I flew a few additional times on this day comparing the two receivers and the quality of signal strength and the diversity element made a big difference as well as the interface and other features of this receiver. So overall, this receiver does seem to represent fairly good value. It's got a great screen on it, great indication. The signal quality is really good as well. And it's diversity, which is key. During your flight, it'll be switching from one antenna to the next constantly. So keeps your focus, it keeps your signal much better. Um, we saw that when we got to the extents, the far extents of the field, that the signal was much better. It didn't break up entirely so that we couldn't see where we were. We did get interference, but certainly nowhere near as bad as before. And if you were to attach two really good antennas to this unlike this little 15 pounds one no doubt you'll get much better signal again welcome back i hope that review was useful you can look ridiculous like i do too and links to this receiver are in the video description now there are two types of this receiver there is a version which is built into one unit as this one is there is also a version where the circuit boards are split so that you can have one antenna here and one on the other side of your fat shark goggles. It does however mean running a wire between the two and it looks quite untidy in my opinion. This is a much nicer compact all-in-one module and far less to go wrong that way as well. So links are in the video description if you want to read more about this product. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, tell us about your experiences if you've got this receiver and also like, share and of course subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. So inside the box, um, first of all, we've got a, a tissue for cleaning it, not a tissue, a handkerchief type thing. 